Okay, so find the equation of a line perpendicular to this line. So this, you know, f of x graphs to be some line, and then we're trying to find an equation that's perpendicular to it. And they tell us that it passes through this point. So we know a point, we just need to know the slope. So the slope of this line is 3. Um, that means the slope of our line is going to be negative 1 third. So it's got to be the opposite and the reciprocal. So I'm going to use the point slope formula. And we're going to plug everything in that we know. y minus 0, because this is y sub 1 and x sub 1. And our slope is negative 1 third x uh, minus 3. So we get y equals negative 1 third x plus 1. So if we do the distributing there, that's what we get. Um, we could call this a g function. On the last video, I named it erroneously f of x, and we already have an f of x, so we, we shouldn't do that. But I can call it g of x or some other letter. All right, so now there's another example that's a little bit different. A line passes through the points, and they give us two points. Find the equation of a perpendicular line that passes through the points. So you think about the points negative 2, 6, and 4, 5 maybe, and there's some line there. Well, we can calculate the slope by using the slope formula. So it's going to be 5 minus 6 over 4 minus a negative 2. Uh, and that's going to be negative 1 over 6. So that's going to be the slope for this line here, the slope that we don't have a graph of or anything or an equation, but we know the slope is negative 1 sixth. We want a line perpendicular to that line. So our slope is going to be 6. Okay? It's got to be the opposite reciprocal. That was negative 1 sixth. Okay, our slope's going to be 6 then. And then here's the point that we're going to use. Uh, so we use our slope intercept or our point slope formula. And we're going to put in everything we know. y minus 5 equals 6, that's our slope, x minus 4. And so we'll do some distributing, oops, and then add the 5 over. It looks like I'm getting y equals 6x minus 19, or if I want to call it h of x, could do that. You could use whatever letter you want. We don't usually use i and j, but notice they used j earlier. Okay, there you come.